welcome to Warner's Wheeling About. Just me messing around in my wheelchair and my cars. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Welcome to another video. And today I'm in Oxford and I'm at the new Fast Ned um, Park and Ride EV Charge Facility. Now, I'm here today to talk to Tom, who's going to tell us a little bit about this facility and um, what the company's plans are for the United Kingdom and how they see disability, you know, what's their company policy and understanding and plans for access to their EV charging equipment. How many fasteners have you got in the UK now? So in the UK, this is our 12th site. Uh, it's actually the third site we've opened in the last three months, more or less. And that's roughly a, a rate of build we want to continue for the rest of the year and, let's say, accelerate into the following year. So Fastener is a company, we actually have a mission to build a thousand stations across Europe. With 400 across Europe built by the end of 2024. So we're busy, we're very busy, and we expect to build a lot more in the UK here as well, for sure. And um, across Europe? Uh, this is station number 208. Uh, we've actually just opened 209 last week. So we're really at a point where we're opening a station at least once a week or so. So we actually struggle to keep track of uh, how many we've built, how many we're operating. So every presentation I make, for example, I always have to check the numbers, make sure they're, they're completely up to date because you, you, you never know. It's a, it's a very busy time for us. And we're racing as fast as we can to install as much quality infrastructure as possible. For, for our viewers, um we just must explain that it's a Dutch company, I believe. That's right. So we were founded 10 years ago in the Netherlands um, by, uh, yeah, our, our co-founders, basically, who set up to create a business that would um, accelerate the transition to sustainable mobility by providing freedom to electric drivers. And that's that, that basic mission statement has underpinned, underpinned everything we do. Every decision that we make, you know, about investment, about location design, for example, we always ask ourselves, does this help uh, improve freedom for EV drivers? So you see that here today with our, you know, our solar canopy, for example, which is to us, a, a, a really is a bare minimum for any location. Where, where we don't install canopies, our customers instantly go, where is the canopy? Because why should you be treated any less seriously than a, a driver in a petrol car, for example, who's used to being covered by a, you know, a petrol filling station canopy? Um, and so, yeah, over the last 10 years, we've iterated our design process, we've iterated our station layouts, and we continue to listen to customer feedback um, across, you know, across the markets that we operate in to make sure that what we're doing is in everyone's best interest, to make sure we're learning from new vehicle types, new accessibility methods, using the latest chargers in the market, for example, using advanced cable management systems that enable um, yeah, disabled users, for example, to, to more straightforwardly and without hassle and, frankly, safety issues to use, to use the station more, more comfortably. Um, and that's, that's really, yeah, core to what we do at Fastnet. When I arrived here today, I found it very easy to, to find the chargers because your branding's very strong and very unique. And um, as you say, your canopies are also very, very uh, obvious. And um, <clears throat> so unlike some locations where you tend to drive around the car park five or six times, I managed to get here straight away. And, and the other thing I noticed was all your parking bays seem to be wide enough for a wheelchair user to be able to navigate. Is that part of the company's policy? Absolutely. So it's always prioritise bays that are at least three metres wide because that's more comfortable and more accessible for every single driver. You know, those specifically with special accessibility needs and just general users that have to faff around with cables, for example. Well, you know, old people and, and large people exactly. need, need space to open their doors. Don't this, they? Is, this is freedom for everyone. And electric freedom is the mission statement. So um, us as a EV charging company that makes us money by selling electricity to people, we can't have anything that makes it harder for you as a potential customer to use our station. So again, that's it's the bay widths, it's uh, payment methods, for example, we have a whole range of methods that you can use to, to start a charging session with us. Uh, we just want you to come, whatever you drive, whether it's a Tesla, a Porsche, a Mini, a, a Nissan Leaf, for example, every EV and every EV driver should be able to charge in fast. And that's, that's what Electric Freedom is about. <laughs> One thing I found quite easy was the cable. I was surprised because it's such a, um, a heavy cable, but you've got this um, suspension stanchion thing. Um, and um, I was surprised not only did it make the cable much lighter, but it actually stretches quite a long way as well. It stretches a surprising way. So, you know, even what the, the position of the charger on the ground here is, is again, no mere coincidence. The design team that we have in house spends thousands of hours, maybe that's an exaggeration, but hundreds of hours looking at cable configurations, vehicle charge points, uh, how users will navigate around the location uh, to make sure it's the most comfortable experience and that we, we can access you know, every single charging location on the car uh, as straightforwardly as possible. Another thing I found easy to use was, was your screen. And, and like you say, you've got 
multiple payment methods. Can you tell us a little bit more about how, um, as a disabled driver, I might benefit by not needing to, to use that at all? So I think this is one of the, the fundamental things that we, we do hope, you know, and I really look to your feedback for this, but that will be beneficial for, for disabled drivers. So. Uh, yes, you can start with a contactless payment card, so already that's very straightforward, uh, but you may need to press buttons, which in some uh, occasions might be a bit uh, less easy for keeping a higher position depending on where you're on the location. We've also got uh, relationships with over 25 uh, different mobility services providers and um, charge point operators, so that other networks and other users of other apps, for example, can use our stations without worrying, again, removing those barriers to use. And then we have the Fastnet app which is a lovely app, it's got great route planning facilities in it, it's got information about every single EV on the market in it, for example. Uh, you, you can register um, either as a guest or a gold member. As a gold membership user, you can benefit from a cheaper tariff that's for a monthly subscription, but the subscription is not mandatory. But either way, a guest or a gold membership user, the best feature, which is something that we developed in 2017 already, uh, was what we call auto charge. Now auto charge, once you've charged with us one time using the app, our charges anywhere in Europe will recognize your vehicle and start your charging session within 10 seconds or so. So at that point, filling up your EV is even simpler and quicker than going to the petrol station, for example. So similar to a Tesla system? Exactly, right. exactly. Just exactly that same customer experience, just, just a case of plug and go, forget about it. And it's all good. What, what are the speeds of your, your machines? It's a very good question. So you don't see it on this side, but this is a 300 kilowatt charger. So up to 300 miles of range can be added to your vehicle in just 20 minutes or so. Wow. So that translates, if you've got the vehicle that can take it, to driving as far as Carlisle from here where we are today in Oxford before you need to charge again. And obviously, I'm pretty sure everyone's bladders will be needing a charge before, uh, uh, before their car will. And um, in terms of the um, pricing, how is your policy on pricing? So I think this is a really key thing. So we uh, try to be as transparent as possible about our pricing. And, and as fair as possible. So at the moment, it's a, pay, a straight pay-as-you-go uh, price. Description will give you a lower price, but we don't, you know, the, the focus, frankly, is pay-as-you-go. Uh, so contactless payment card, same price. Uh, guest membership, same price. Uh, other mobility service providers, they will, um, their customers will see the same price. It's possible that some apps will add an additional cost on top of that, but our, it's very, it should be, as far as we're concerned, very straightforward where the money that you're paying is going to. And, and really, it's going to making sure that we can continue to invest in locations like this. We're, we are here to, to invest in these 1,000 stations across Europe. And that does you know, need us to yeah, uh, create a sustainable business model. Well, I've got to say, I'm really impressed. Um, as a disabled driver, it's, it's difficult to find charge hubs that you can confidently use. You know, if, if I've got a passenger with me, then it's not such a difficult thing. But you know, to be able to go out solo and be confident I can get a charge, I need to know that the machine's not only going to be accessible, it's going to be working as well, yeah. which isn't always the case, as you know, these days. So I'm really excited to see your company starting to plant these in the ground here. And then on that basis, how many of these can we expect to see being rolled out in, in the UK in the, in the near future or over the next year or so? Yeah, over the next year, I mean, we're, we should have another sort of anywhere between eight and, yeah, 10 or so operations within right. a year, all being well. But they, they really do vary. So I think at the moment, in many ways, this is our flagship. This is the full canopy experience with yeah. the, 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 yeah, what we believe is the, the best that we've done so far, bearing in mind the location constraints that we have here that I mentioned yes. before around yes. the the wobbly site, let's call it. Yes. <laughs> uh, some of our other locations are in more retail sites. Mm -hmm. You still get the full, you know, uh, the bay width that I talked about, um, but we might not be able to have a canopy there, for example, because mm -hmm. it will obstruct uh, the view of uh, the retail park, for example, or there are, there are other issues, or, or neighbours might not be such a big fan of it. Right. So we, we make some compromises there, but always, always the station will be very visible. So we have our wings, we call them there, which are still our, our timber structure with, uh, with, the, with the branding on top, and uh, allowing you to be, yeah, to find us. Again, it's a big thing. We don't want you cruising around the car park. Uh, potentially, you know, causing safety issues, right? If you're, if you're hunting around for that charger, potentially playing chicken with another EV driver who's <laughs> looking for that one charger as well, for example. Yeah. Those are all negative and potentially dangerous experiences that we really do want to avoid. Um, but yeah, in terms of where we're going to build in the UK, uh, I say that the mission for the whole of Europe is a thousand stations, and the UK is a massive part of that story. And so it's my mission as a UK country manager to really uh, push our numbers significantly. I, I hope we continue to exponentially grow here in the UK. One thing I, I forgot to mention, which I noticed when I charged the car, is that you've got different languages as well. So if, if someone's here on holiday and they're French, for example, they can just push the French flag and everything goes to yep, French. Yeah, that's right. And that's the same if, if you're in Europe. Exactly. You can, you can just press yeah. the, the. So you get to know our network and yeah. you get to rely on our network. You should yeah. really. My hope is anyway that when you get to a fast station, your blood pressure instantly decreases. Yeah. Because you know there's going to be enough charges there for your vehicle. 
because you know they're going to work. You know there's 24-7 customer support from people who are experts in this infrastructure. It's in-house. Our customer support agents know every single vehicle in the market. They know every single charge point location. They know every foible with uh, turning the car off and on again, for example, to yeah. unplug the, the plug if it gets stuck, for example. All yeah. these little things. Um, because again, we want to make you come back to class and we want to make you start your first session as easily and comfortably as possible. And I'm sure we don't always get it right, but uh, the only thing I can definitely assure you of is our absolute dedication to getting it right as much as possible. Well, I want to say thank you very much, Tom. You've been uh, really uh, helpful to explain it to us exactly how it works. Your company seems to have a really good uh, policy as far as access is concerned, which is a great relief. And um, I do, I love, I love the look. I, I love the wood. It's all very natural, yet modern, and, and it talks to me of you know, an EV future. So, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers, man. I also spoke to the architect and. Um, pointed out that the gravel was a bit of a problem for wheelchairs. Also, the width of the bump stops was a bit wide. And I'm pleased to say that they uh, recognised that issue and contemplating on how to improve that. Here at Oxford's Red Bridge Park and Ride, the new energy super hub, there is um, a buffer battery that's to cushion the impact of the fast charging process on the power grid. Initially, there are 10 HPC chargers from Fastned with 300 kilowatts each, three with 50 kilowatts Tadmo, 12 superchargers from Tesla with 250 kilowatts And from Wene, there are 20 destination chargers, some 22 kilowatts and some 7 kilowatts. As you can see, the parking bays are quite wide, so there is plenty of space to get between the cars and to open the door. And this looks relatively accessible, except I've got this gravel. I think I'd probably manage. I can reach the uh, cable here, okay. The RFID card is accessible. And the screen is, is perfectly okay. Just um, the gravel makes it... Uh, if you're using walking sticks or crutches, then gravel can be treacherous. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. It really helps me if you can give me a like and share and please subscribe and ring that bell icon so you're notified each time I post a new video. See you in the next one, bye.